Are you currently renting an apartment or maybe you're leasing a rental property and maybe you're paying around $2,000 a month in rent and you're lying in bed at night staring at the ceiling wondering, gee, I wonder how much home in Wake Forest I could get for the $2,000 a month I'm throwing away paying someone else's mortgage. Well, you can trash those Ambien and melatonin pills because today I'm gonna take you guys on a tour around Wake Forest to show you some examples of what your $2,000 a month could potentially get you here in town. And we're getting started right now. Hi guys, I'm Mike Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United in Raleigh. I get quite a lot of inquiries from people all across the U.S. contemplating a move to the Triangle area who are curious about how much they can afford. Well, right now here in the Wake Forest area, the median residential price on a three bedroom, single family detached house measuring around 1,575 square feet is gonna run you about $1,700 a month. You might not be aware that based on currently available mortgage rates that you can actually buy a $375,000 home with about 5% down with about another 2% in closing costs for that same $2,000 a month. You're basically throwing in the garbage every month. If you're not familiar with the Triangle real estate market, you might be wondering what types of homes you can get for this $2,000 a month payment. Well, today I'm gonna to take you guys on a tour of various Wake Forest neighborhoods to show you some specific homes that are either currently for sale, about to be for sale, or maybe they've just recently sold and are within that $375,000 price range. This way you can get a basic idea of how much home you can get for that $2,000 a month payment. I'm gonna also show you guys what some of the surrounding neighborhood and the areas around the neighborhoods are like so you can get a better feel for what it's like living in some of these areas. Okay guys, let's take this tour on the road and go check it out. Okay guys, the first neighborhood that we're gonna be checking out today is called Remington Woods. Remington Woods is a community that's located just on the north side of the downtown Wake Forest Business District. You're also just a short walk from the downtown Wake Forest Historic District. You're also just around the corner from the 117-acre E. Carroll Joyner Park, which I've talked about in quite a few of my other videos. Your typical home in Remington Woods is going to be three bed, two bath. I'd say the average size of the homes in this neighborhood are going to be around 1,500 square feet. You'll see some slightly smaller. Um, there's actually a couple that are gonna be like 17, 1800 square feet. One thing I like about this neighborhood are the lots are pretty big. You're not gonna be like cramped up next door to your neighbors. The lot sizes out here are probably anywhere between a third, at least minimum of a third of an acre. Most are more towards half an acre. Over the last 12 month period, there's only been seven sales in the entire neighborhood. There's not really a lot of turnover within the community. Of the ones that have sold, the median sales price over here has been around $230,000. I think there was one sale that was like $212,000. The most expensive one that sold has been like $270,000, $275,000. Okay guys, here's one that just sold recently. This actually sold for around $300,000, although I won't have the exact price on this until it actually closes. If you have kids attending public school, the public schools that are currently assigned to Remington Woods are Heritage Elementary, Heritage Middle, and Wake Forest High School. Heritage Elementary and Heritage Middle, they're going to be about a 10 to 15 minute drive depending on the time of day. Wake Forest High School is literally just down the street. You're probably maybe five minutes away. One of the more popular charter schools, Franklin Academy, is in downtown Wake Forest. You're probably seven or eight minutes away from that. There's a ton of convenient shopping from Remington Woods. You're only maybe 10 minutes away from Target, Walmart. There's a shopping center with a Harris Cedar grocery store in it that's literally just up the street. Okay guys, this next neighborhood that we're checking out is called the Meadows. The Meadows was built back, the first home in here was like 2013 or so. Fairly new community. It's located on the north side of Wake Forest. We're actually not too far from the town of Youngsville city limits. We're off of what's known as Highway 1-A, which is an alternate route from Capitol Boulevard. This is actually an area of Wake Forest that's pretty convenient because you're in a centrally located area, but you're not located like in tons of commercial or businesses. It's pretty residential out here. You're not gonna have a lot of hustle and bustle. The typical home in this community is gonna be four bedroom, four bath. The nice thing I like about the Meadows is your typical home out here is pretty big. 
Most of the homes out here are gonna average around 32, 3,300 square feet in size. The lot sizes out here aren't too bad. I mean, they're not huge. I mean, they're like quarter of an acre in size. The spacing isn't terrible. One of the things I really like about the Meadows is the fact that they didn't clear cut the neighborhood when they went in to start building. They actually left quite a few trees out here. Another thing that's really cool is the topography and the terrain out here. It's, it's pretty hilly. I mean, you always feel like you're living in a mountain resort. This is another community where there hasn't been a whole lot of turnover with the resales. Over the last 12 months, there's only been like five homes that have sold in the entire neighborhood. The typical home that's sold out here has been around 400, 410,000. There have been homes out here that have sold for around 345, 350. Of the homes that have sold out here, the typical one has been around 400,000, 410. There's been homes that have sold for as little as 345. I think one sold for like 440 a while back. The homes out here are gonna measure anywhere between 2,600 square feet all the way up to typically around 3,500 square feet or so. The Meadows neighborhood is in a really awesome location. You're only like five minutes from two of Wake Forest's two main public parks. Holding Village Park is only about five minutes away. E. Carroll Joyner Park is about the same. There's also a really cool neighborhood park for the community kids to go play. If you live in the Meadows and you have kids going to public school, there's three public schools that are assigned to the neighborhood. There's Richland Creek Elementary School. It's only about five minutes away. Wake Forest Middle School and Wake Forest High School, you're probably seven or eight minutes away from both of those. Like the Remington Woods community that we just highlighted, you're also gonna be about the same distance from shopping, Target, Walmart, they're all gonna be really close. Harris Cedar Grocery Store, that's gonna be nearby. I also forgot to mention there's a Lidl, uh, there's also an Aldi, again, maybe you're 10 minutes or so from Aldi. Lidl, you're maybe six, seven minutes away. Okay guys, this home just hit the market here in the Meadows. It's a three bed, two bath ranch home. It's just a little over 2,200 square feet in size. This home actually lists at 355. It wouldn't surprise me if it went like 360, somewhere in that range. Of course, we won't know until it actually closes. Okay guys, this next community that we're checking out is called Edgeford Park. Edgeford Park was began back in the early 2000s. It's also located on the north side of Wake Forest. It's actually just across the street from the Meadows, which we just checked out. Homes within Edgeford Park are gonna range anywhere in size from as little as 1,300 square feet, all the way up to around 2,100 square feet. So the homes in here are somewhat smaller. Over the last year, there's only been like eight homes within this community that's actually sold. Homes typically range in price in here anywhere from the 230s all the way up to even the 330s. Of all the homes that have sold within the last 12 months, your typical one is ranged around 260, 270. Again, like the other two communities that we've already checked out, Edgeford Park is really nice because they've left a lot of trees in here. The spacing between the homes is really nice. You really don't feel like you're on top of your neighbors. I really hate a lot of these new neighborhoods where they go in and they basically just clear cut everything. This neighborhood was built at a time when they really took a lot of effort to you know, maintain a lot of the tree and natural beauty of the area. The town of Wake Forest Holden Park is just literally up the street. We're probably like three or four minutes away. From this location, you're only about maybe six, seven minutes at the most away from downtown Wake Forest. Again, this area is really nice because there's really not a whole lot of development around here, at least yet. We're still maybe a couple minutes away from shopping and dining the Target, Wake Forest, the um, Walmart, you're not far from those. But again, there's very little commercial development out this way uh, as far as retail or other businesses. Hey guys, this house here is pretty representative of what you're gonna find in Edgeford Park. This house just recently closed. Um, it sold in like, I don't know, two days or so. It's a 1,783 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home, two and a half baths actually. Okay guys, right now we're out at the community of Austin Creek. This is a really incredible neighborhood that's just like seven minutes west of the downtown Wake Forest Business District. This is directly off of NC 98, which is the main thoroughfare. It's the main east-west thoroughfare between Wake Forest and Durham. The Austin Creek community was actually began back in 2010. The recession kind of slowed it up. Um, it's taken quite a while to kind of get going again. They actually just recently, maybe three years ago, finished up building in the community. 
Austin Creek's really great. Um, you actually got a mixture of single family homes. There's gorgeous townhomes in here. Some of the nicest I've seen in Wake Forest. Your typical detached home within Austin Creek is gonna run around 2,400 square feet or so. The typical detached home within here is gonna run about 365. The thing with Austin Creek is the homes in here, just like a lot of the other neighborhoods within the town of Wake Forest, they, they turn over really slowly. Um, there's only been like 12 homes that have sold in here within the last 12 months, you know, one a month basically. When homes do come for sale within Austin Creek, they're literally gone within like 48 hours. Austin Creek was actually one of the first major developments on this side of town within the last, you know, 10 to 20 years. It's really convenient because you've got the shops at Gateway that are like just literally down the street from here. If you're familiar with Heritage Wake Forest, it's only like five minutes from here. There's a pretty wide range of single family homes within Austin Creek. Over the last 12 months, I think the least expensive home in here sold for around 250,000 and the most expensive sold for like 500,000. So pretty wide range as far as pricing and square footages. The lot sizes for the single family detached homes are fairly decent. I mean, they're fairly typical within Wake Forest of new home construction. They're gonna be between a fifth of an acre, maybe a fourth of an acre. Austin Creek has some really cool amenities. There's a really cool walking trail that surrounds the community. I really love the swimming pool within Austin Creek. It's one of the nicer swimming pools that I've seen that's included with your HOA fees in Wake Forest. Also a, a large picnic area. There's a large open area where you can play, you know, football, different games outside. It's really open. There's a picnic shelter. You can have picnics out there. I really like the townhome designs out here. Um, they're really cool. Um, if you notice, a lot of them have a open porch area on the front, a second floor uh, porch. You can come right out of your uh, bedroom and have a cup of coffee in the morning if it's not too hot. Okay guys, here's a really cool house that's getting ready to hit the market. Um, it's a three bedroom, three bath home. It's uh, on about a quarter of an acre, a little over 2,400 square feet. This particular home is listed at around 370. If you have kids in public school, Austin Creek is currently um, assigned to Sanford Creek Elementary School, which is like maybe 10 minutes away. Wake Forest Middle School and Wake Forest High School, again, they're maybe 10 to 12 minutes away. Okay guys, this next community that we're checking out is actually one of the very first master plan communities that ever came to Wake Forest, at least in the modern era. Um, Jones Dairy Farm was actually established back in the mid 80s. You're only maybe six, seven minutes from the downtown Wake Forest Business District. There's actually a really good mix of homes within Jones Dairy Farm. Uh, there's quite a few ranch homes, which if you look for ranches in the Wake Forest or really anywhere in the Triangle area, they're almost like unicorns. Over the last 12 month period, there have been something like 15, 16 homes that have sold within Jones Dairy Farm. Again, not a whole lot of turnover within this area as well as most of the other areas within Wake Forest and the Triangle area in general. Of the homes that have sold within Jones Dairy Farm, your median sales price is gonna be like in the 280s. Your typical home size in here is gonna be around 23, 2400 square feet max. Of all the homes that have sold within Jones Dairy Farm over the last 12 months, I think maybe the least expensive one went for around 195. I think maybe the most expensive home during that time period was around 280, 285. The lot sizes out here are pretty decent. They're generally around a third of an acre in size. So, you know, you're not gonna be like right on top of your neighbors. Um, the spacing as well, because of the larger lot sizes is really good. With the community being somewhat older, you're gonna find a lot more landscaping. There's a lot of hardwood trees, a lot of nice shady areas around. One thing that a lot of people like that live out here is the fact that you're just directly across the street from Jones Dairy Elementary School. So if you have any young children, you know, most likely they're gonna go there. For middle and high school, the kids are assigned to Wake Forest Middle School and Wake Forest High School, which they're both near downtown Wake Forest. It's gonna take you maybe 10 to 15 minute commute to both those schools. Closest uh, retail, like grocery stores and that type of thing, is gonna be the, within the heritage community. From Jones Dairy Farm, you're only seven, eight minutes away. 
Of course, if you've seen many of my videos talking about the Heritage community, you're gonna have quite a bit of shopping in there. There's three on-site grocery stores within Heritage. One important thing to keep in mind about Jones Dairy Farm is the fact that there's no on-site swimming pool. There's, there's really no amenities whatsoever. There's no you know playground, there's no dog parks. However, uh, again, being so close to Heritage, you've got the um, Heritage Swim Club, which you can join, I actually know quite a few people that live within Jones Dairy Farm that are members out at the Heritage Club. Okay guys, here's a three bedroom, two and a half bath home that is for sale in Jones Dairy Farm. This was about 1,500 square feet or so. This is actually listed at 374, 600. So again, right at that $2,000 a month. If you're searching for a home in the Raleigh, Wake Forest or pretty much anywhere in the Triangle region of North Carolina, why not get help from an experienced realtor who just so happens to be a native of the area? Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And definitely remember, get Mike and get moved.